Hi guys, I just wanted to give a quick overview of the Ability Tracker, how to use it, its functionality, and how to set up your own input profiles. So first, I'll just go ahead and give it a demo here. So here is the Ability Tracker. So now I've loaded in my Dual World Weapons, and it's going to load my Dual World Ability Setup here. So I'm pressing the keybinds, and it is adding the abilities to the bar. Also supports ability queuing, and add the ability to the bar when the global cooldown is over. Also works with clicking. Here we go. And you'll see that this quake is from my two-hand bar, because I just copy-pasted the two-hand bar over from a dual-world bar setup, so we can actually fix that now. So we just go in the Input Profile Creator. We'll load the dual wield melee bar here, and let's see. We need to take Quake and Hurricane off of the bar. So we'll start the mouse listener, and what this will do is it'll allow us to press middle mouse and open a window that'll save a 30 by 30 pixel area that if we click in, it'll activate this ability that we're setting up. So we'll add greater flurry here. Oops. We'll add Greater Flurry. Add that. And here we'll add Destroy. There we go. And we'll save this. Go ahead and exit out of that. Make sure you exit out of the command prompt windows. Open the Ability Tracker. Here we go. And make sure my dual world weapons are loaded in. Here we go. And now if I click this, that's destroy. Click that. Flurry is working. Switch to my two hand. Cleave. Solve. Quake. So both of those are working just fine. This works for all of my weapons in the bar that I've set up to click or with key press. So, also works with items. So, do you see the Vom Bomb? Another one. Let's see. So, anything in your bar um, that you set up it'll work with, including spells. I have most of the tier 90 and up weapons loaded in. So, let's say that the weapon you want to use isn't in the drop down menu when you're creating your profile. All that you'll do is in the Ability Tracker folder, go to App, Icons. So go to the wiki, get an icon, add it to this folder. And then here in the Data folder, you'll go to Ability Info. Scroll down to the bottom. Here we go. So you'll add another entry here you'll change the ability name to the weapon you want to name. Make sure it's a type weapon, the cooldown is zero, and make sure to set that it does not incur the greater cooldown, global cooldown. Save that. And then if you want it to automatically switch your input profile, you'll come here to weapons and put it under the appropriate tag, so two hand or dual wield of any of the styles. So let's say I wanted to add a bronze two-hand sword. I would come here, the two-hand melee. I would add bronze two-hand sword. And this is case sensitive, must, must match the name of the icon that you added without the file extension. I would save it, and this would allow me, if I had a bronze two-hand sword on my ability bar, it would automatically switch to my two-hand melee abilities when I clicked on it, or use the keybind. And that's about it. This is not very flushed out. It's a little buggy. Um, if you see anything, um, please tag me in the Discord. I should have a section where you can submit your bugs. Um, if you would like, you can open up a pull request on the GitHub. Uh, the code isn't very commented right now. I just wanted to push this out in a couple of days um, to get it out there and get some feedback before I really worked on it. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy using this. Thank you.